All right, time for my next DIY project. And as you can see, this one is not uh, electronic in nature. It does have electronics in it, but this is a, um, it's called the Tin Pan Alley Kit. And it's made by CB Giddy. Um, I'll put the link in the description. And essentially it is a way to build your own folk instrument here. As you can see, this is a three string instrument. It's tuned in open G tuning. Um, and uh, it's a kit that you buy. It comes with a bunch of parts, like basically the box and the stick. And this one um, is designed to be acoustic. I modified it to be electric, um, cause hey, you know, that's what I do. So over here on the back, you can just see there, there's a, um, a chrome jack plate over there uh, on the corner and then the chrome corners. And we've got those on the bottom as well. A chrome uh, knob added a pot there. And then I added a pickup and this particular pickup, this is a lace matchbook pickup. It's very, very thin, which is why I used it. You just drill a hole through the body to put the wires through and it'll mount to pretty much anything. So it gives plenty of clearance there. Um, and then I, the neck I stained, um, by default, the neck just comes with like a standard wood finish. And then I dress it up a little with some, uh, headstock decorations there. That's an old railroad nail that I put into the headstock there to give it a little flare. When I was done, I found that this string tended to buzz a little bit. Um, so I cured that by just putting a, a simple screw in there and you can see what it does. It just keeps pressure on the, on the uh, nut there. So it doesn't rattle. Um, and that seemed to take care of it. Uh, it's a very barbaric <laughs> instrument. Um, and the top is very resonant. I don't know if that's gonna come through on the camera, but it's hollow and it's very resonant. And then this actually works as like a resonator, kind of a banjo uh, kind of effect. It's pretty neat. By the way, um, it comes unfinished and I finished that and I decided to do flames and I had never tried to paint flames before. Uh, so I practiced and I found it's actually pretty easy. Um, I was surprised. So this is my first attempt at painting flames on, on any sort of uh, instrument. It actually came out pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, this instrument is really neat. It's very folky. And um, because of the lace pickup, you plug it in and you can get a really nice, plunky, almost electric banjo-like sound uh, from it if you just kind of pick single notes and stuff. <laughs> has a neat um, folky kind of bluegrassy kind of sound uh, but if you do chords it really gets grimy and, and nasty really quick I mean it, it drives really nice and I like it <laughs> sounds amazing acoustic I, I really like it it was actually designed to be acoustic instrument as I mentioned um, I turned it into a um, to an electric instrument or electric acoustic instrument I guess but it sounds awesome it's very resonant I'm actually super impressed with this kit um, and the modifications I did to it um, came out really nice uh, it's it's it, this was actually one of the more fun now if anybody's wondering it does require some woodworking skill you have to notch see that where the neck and the body and all that meet you have to notch that yourself. Um, you have to do all of that. You have to do, uh, you have to put everything together. Um, it doesn't require a whole lot of tools, some pretty simple tools, but you do need some basic woodworking tools. So here she is, my CB Giddy Tin Pan Alley kit. And I'll play us out with a little uh, cover team here.